friendship is witchcraft. They were a set of 13 episodes. They were done by uh, dub titling over the original episodes and changed the context to make their own story. Oh, did you find a new friend? I killed it. These were made 11 years ago, and that is likely a reason why it caught on. That was when the Brony fandom was really massive. But there are other reasons. A lot of other reasons. The main goal of the series is comedy. Oh, you little things will be much cheaper than those children overseas. <laughs> and the writing on these jokes are actually really good. There's a ton of callbacks to previous episodes. The princess doesn't even trust you with a waffle iron. And making waffles in the bounce house would have worked if Spike didn't have such a weak grip. I can't go to that party. They're just gonna pour pig's blood on me and deflate the bounce house while I'm inside. Celestia says I can't go in bounce houses anymore. And they have a lot of dark jokes. Step one, try not to be so self-conscious. Two, shift your weight into your haunches. Three, give a leap into the air. And four, just forget your parents are both dead. So the creator of the series is named Sherclop Pones. And they were kind of a powerhouse. It was really good at music. And a lot of other things, but I'm focusing on the music, okay? When I'm feeling broken down, she has always got my back. <laughs> Something giant hat. But like these medleys and these songs are just so goddamn good. Lift me up over this box. I love my sister Applejack. And like the music used, like the subtle music used for the scenes add a whole lot. I won't lie, that's about all I wanted to cover. There's a lot of origins to a lot of pony-based stuff in this, like for example, Sweetie Bot and uh, Gypsy Pinky. All I can say is I'd recommend you go and watch these. They're all really quick and really fun. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of filler by doing my theory on Pinkie Pie. But first, a dive is not witchcraft, not magic. Fuck it. Did you? How? When? What? I I have never stolen anything. I never took anything from this little castle. Uh, you, you can't you can't judge me if I did steal anything, but I just want you to know that I didn't. So sure she's the best first friend. Yo, I don't know who the fuck that is, but I know who you is uh, are, and I uh, I know I don't like you, so I, I like them. I spend a lot of time on the road with my wagon, so it might be a tad messy. We're either looking at your DeviantArt literature page, or it's actually gonna be a fucking mess. I'm okay with either. So, how's it going with your new friend? The fuck. See, in Friendship is Witchcraft, Pinky is a gypsy. That's just fact. You see, Apple Bloom, I've always been accused of witchcraft, but as an earth pony, I knew nothing about that. Gypsy? I'm not a gypsy. I'm a pastry chef. Those aren't even similar. Or are they? And Pinkie Pie being a gypsy just makes so much sense to me for some reason. But I think I found a reason or a connection to why she is a gypsy. Like fire, hellfire, this burning in The song she's singing is from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Like fire, hellfire. And then in episode three, you hear this. Oh, oh well, into the fire you go. Bouncing baby bunnies burning bright. So my theory is that they made Pink Pie Gypsy to reference the Hunchback of Notre Dame, or it was just in the back of their mind. Because one of the main characters is a gypsy and uh, Quasimodo's uh, mother is a gypsy. And that's my theory. 